MacBook Pro, 15-inch, mid-2018, review. Same body, big leap in power. Our verdict. The MacBook Pro 2018 15-inch is a great master notepad with an awesome plan. In any case, in its offer to interest the mass market, it may kill a few experts. 4. Awesome outline. Genuine tone functions admirably when you need it. Contact bar is moving forward. Good execution. Against. Costly. Absence of ports. Console still feels somewhat level. Contrasted with the bluster that encompasses a lot of Apple's gadget dispatches, the uncovering of the new MacBook Pro 2018 was a fairly quieted undertaking, regardless of the way that the new age of MacBook Pros offer a significant redesign over past forms. Rather than having their own one-of-a-kind dispatch occasion, as new iPhones do, or becoming the overwhelming focus at Apple's well-known WWDC occasion, Apple held a more cozy appearing for the declaration of the new MacBook Pros, which like in past ages come in two sizes, 15-inch and 13-inch. In spite of the calmer dispatch, it doesn't imply that Apple isn't amped up for the new MacBook Pro. While iPhones and iPads, and in addition MacBooks, are gone for general customers, the MacBook Pro is centered around creatives and experts, with a level of execution, and a high sticker price, to coordinate. In any case, Apple has completed an awesome activity in the past of making the MacBook Pro an optimistic item that interests to standard shoppers too, and in case you're after the most groundbreaking MacBook gadget Apple has made, at that point you'll be extremely enticed by the MacBook Pro 2018. There's a sufficient distinction between the two sizes with regards to parts to warrant two separate audits, and here we'll be taking a gander at the leader 15-inch MacBook Pro. Cost and Accessibility Likewise with past variants of the MacBook Pro, the 2018 adaptation arrives in an assortment of arrangements and costs. The base design accompanies a 2.2 GHz, 6-center Intel Core i7 processor, Radeon Pro 555X illustrations card. 16 GB of DDR4 memory and 256 GB SSD stockpiling for $2,399 £2 AU3499. This can be arranged to include a 2.9 GHz 6 center Intel Core i9 processor for $400 350 pounds, 600 Australian dollars, more, 32 GB of RAM for $400 360 pounds, 640 Australian dollars, more, and a move up to the AMD Radeon Pro 560X for an extra $100, 90 pounds, 160 Australian dollars. You can likewise redesign the capacity to a 512 gigabytes SSD for dollar 200 slash pound 180 slash 320 Australian dollars, 1 terabyte SSD for dollar 600 slash pound 540 slash 960 Australian dollars. 2 terabytes SSD for dollar 1 comma 400 slash pound 1 comma 260 slash 2240 Australian dollars and a 4 terabytes SSD for dollar 3 comma 400 slash pound 3 comma 060 slash 5440 Australian dollars. This gives you a lot of alternatives to blend and match segments to get the MacBook Pro 2018 that best suits your requirements and spending plan. In this way, on the off chance that you complete a ton of video altering, you can redesign the designs card, while sparing cash by adhering to a littler SSD on the off chance that you spare your work to an outside hard drive. Without a doubt, this is a costly piece of pack, yet you can't thump the equipment. It's likewise amazingly that the base design of the MacBook Pro 15-inch 2018 is an indistinguishable cost from the base setup of the 2017 variant when it propelled. In this way, you're getting a pleasant overhaul in specs for no additional cash. In case you're searching for a Windows 10 elective, at that point the new Dell XPS 15 2018 offers comparable spec choices, with a possibility for an Intel Core i9-8950HK, 32GB of DDR4 RAM and a 2TB of Kinvm SSD costing $3,299, about £2,460, £4,303, while this is a ton of cash, it's as yet less expensive than a likewise specced MacBook Pro 2018, which costs $4,699, £4,409, Australian dollars No more of a value hole to make you truly think about the Dell, except if you're married to Mako's.
design. Mac's MacBook Pros have been for some time commended for their appealing plans, which fit intense parts into thin and light undercarriage, and Apple has taken an if it's not poor, don't settle it approach with the MacBook Pro 2018. This implies the workstation is basically the very same plan as a year ago, directly down to similar measurements and weight. Along these lines, the stature when shut is 1.55 cm, 0.61 inches, and it weighs 1.83 kg, 4.02 pounds. That is awesome news for any individual who cherishes the outline of past MacBook Pros, and the measurements and weight stay amazing for a great PC with a 15-inch screen. It's a touch more slender than Dell's XPS 15, and weighs not as much as Microsoft's Surface Book 2, which tips the scales at 4.2 pounds slash 1.9 kilograms. These are ostensibly the MacBook Pro's greatest Windows-based contenders, and the way that the MacBook Pro 2018 serenely beats them on control, while being more slender and lighter, is a major win for Apple. Every one of the 15-inch models of the MacBook Pro 2018 likewise include the touch bar, this is a thin glass touchscreen that keeps running along the highest point of the console, and it shows setting touch you catches on its 2170 by 60 determination screen. These catches change contingent upon the application or assignment that you're performing, and they are intended to give you snappy easy routes to enable speed to up your work process. At the point when the touch bar initially showed up on the MacBook Pro 2016, not every person was persuaded by its utilization, however we were very attached to it. Throughout the years, touch bar similarity has developed, so not exclusively does practically every Apple application advantage from touch bar catches, numerous well-known outsider applications, for example, Google Chrome and Adobe Photoshop, additionally have their own touch bar catches. These can be truly valuable, and once you become acclimated to them, they can enable speed to up your work process. Notwithstanding, there are a couple of disadvantages. Since they are setting delicate, they change contingent upon what application you're utilizing, which implies you'll never truly have the capacity to utilize them without checking where they are, dissimilar to physical catches where you can remember their area. It's a little objection yet one that may make adhering to console easy routes for your most utilized undertakings speedier. Beside the touch bar is a unique finger impression scanner for signing into the MacBook Pro, and approving installments. It's fast and simple to set up, and precisely peruses your unique finger impression and logs you in without twine, something that some finger impression per users on workstations neglect to oversee. Not all things are precisely the same, be that as it may. The console has had a modification, which will be uplifting news for some individuals, however some will whine that the refresh doesn't go sufficiently far. The consoles of past MacBook Pros with the butterfly switch have been reprimanded for having higher than common disappointment rates, and encountering issues, for example, sticky keys, which is the place a key stays dynamic even after it has been squeezed and discharged. Apple was even compelled to concede that a portion of its consoles break too effortlessly, 